guys, welcome to another Lucky Bag video. Today we've actually got a lucky box. I can't believe I got one this year. This is the Pokemon Center Lucky Bag, or uh, I guess it's in box form this year. This has been increasingly more and more difficult to get over the years because it's become so popular that they've made it a lottery system. So in order to purchase their Lucky Box, you need to apply online about a month in advance and then wait a few weeks for the results to hear if you were chosen or not. And for the past couple years, I have failed it. But I was lucky enough to be chosen for one this year, so I'm very excited to open this with you guys. It has been way too long since I've had a Pokemon Center Lucky Bag. I think my last one was 2018, so three whole years. So if you are new to Pokemon Center Lucky Bags, they usually include one product that is the same for everybody who gets the bag, and then the rest are just various items that they had left over in the Pokemon Center that didn't sell. So the one item that everybody has the same this year is a fleece blanket, I believe, and it has one of three Pokemon attached to it, Pikachu, Scorbunny, or Yamper. I'm hoping for Pikachu, just because I'm not really a fan of the other two. So let's open it up and see which blanket I got, first of all. Wow, there's lots of plushies in here. As usual, they're usually very generous. Pikachu! Very generous with their plushies. Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so glad I got the Pikachu one. I didn't think I would because as you guys know, <laughs> it's very common for me to get lots of Pokemon items of Pokemon that I'm not a huge fan of. Like Rowlet, I will be extremely surprised if there isn't a Rowlet in this box. But the first item we have is this adorable Pikachu blanket. It is so soft. It's not fleece. I was wrong. It is, I don't know what you would call this material, but it's extremely soft and it looks like you can take off the Pikachu. I didn't realize that. I thought it would be like attached permanently. So the Pikachu kind of holds the whole blanket together when you want to store it, but you can take it off and just have it as a separate little plushie. That'll actually look really cute on my shelf with my sleeping Charmeleon. So, perfect. Let's see how big the blanket is. Okay, it's, it's small, but it's a nice like lap blanket if you're sitting at your computer. Oh, it's so cozy. All right, good start to the box. I'm very happy that I got the Pokemon that I wanted. Um, I'm just gonna reach in and grab something. Who's that Pokemon? Wow, <laughs> it is a Galarian Ponita. That is really, really soft. This is like that marshmallow, like mochi kind of plushie that is so satisfying to squeeze. Oh my god, I love it. And it's just beautiful. This is such a pretty Pokemon. I think everyone will agree. <laughs> Next we have... Ah, Snorlax! Oh, is this a dolls? It is! Okay, so the Pokemon dolls collection is kind of like a chibi version of Pokemon. They're supposed to be little dolls and they're really, really cute. You can't really tell. Uh, that this is one of the doll Pokemon because it's normally the eyes that are different so because Snorlax has his eyes closed you can't really tell but it's still a very cute round chibi version of Snorlax. I think I'll put him up on my shelf as well. So far so good. I'm very happy with the things I'm getting. Aww Charmander! If only it was a Charmeleon but um, this will still look good in my background. I'm thinking to decorate the shelf with more Pokemon. I had it more of like a Japanese plants and candles and tea theme, but I do miss my bright Pokemon plushies. So I'm gonna use most of the contents from this box, if they're Pokemon that I like, to decorate my background shelf. So Charmander will be perfect for that. I feel a carpet. <laughs> it's a Psyduck! Ah, oh, it's a Psyduck, like, mat or bath mat possibly. It's got grip on the back and then the material is kind of like just a regular carpet. So I think it could be a bath mat. I am so stoked to get this because I was actually in the market for a kitchen mat for in front of my sink. I have been eyeing this really expensive Ghibli one of Cat Bus, but this is super cute. This will look really cute in my kitchen. So that is such a huge bonus. I didn't even know they made that. Awesome. Next we have, oh, a baby Psyduck. Is this a doll as well? Oh no, it's not. This is the Pokemon Fit collection. It's got a little bean bag bottom, if you can hear that. So he will sit very nicely on my shelf. Psyduck's one of my favorite Pokemon. Honestly, like the first, the first gen I love. 
anyone from it. I don't think there's many Pokemon I dislike. So I'm pretty stoked that I'm getting so many first gen Pokemon. How lucky is that? Next. Should I grab something that's not a plushie? As always, there's so many plushies in this bag, but let's get something else. Oh, pretty. 12 Pikachu pencils. Sakura Pikachu. They're quite pretty. I don't use pencils at all, honestly. And these are the kind that you have to sharpen, so I'm pretty lazy. <laughs> I don't know if I could be bothered to sharpen these and write with them. I do prefer writing with a pen, but I might give them to my sister because she likes drawing and I have a feeling that she probably uses pencils more than I do. They're very pretty, so I would say that's still a bonus, even if I don't use them myself. Next, we have this, another plushie. Oh, another Ponita! A mini version of the Galarian Ponita. This is just the regular plushie collection, I think. Nothing special. So tiny, so cute. This one might be better for my shelf than the big one. I'll find a place for it. It's actually a keychain. I wanted to hang it on some luggage or something, but cool. Another cute Pokemon. Nothing that I dislike yet. <laughs> and out comes Shroomish. Okay, wouldn't be my first choice. <laughs> Although I do like Paris, which has like mushrooms growing on its back. I'm not a huge fan of Shroomish. He's kind of cute, but yeah, wouldn't have been my first pick. So I think this is probably the first item I got in the box that I'm not extremely in love with, but he's still cute. I feel a very chunky, chunky Pokemon. Oh my God, there's something very weird about this one. Um, this is Mar Marpeko, Morupeko in Japanese, I think. Yeah, Morupeko, I think in English it's just more Morupeko, is that right? He feels like so weird, kind of like a ball. Like he's like, I don't know. I don't like how this plushie is made. Most Pokemon Center plushies are really soft and they feel like super high quality. Something about the material of this one, like he just feels like he'll float. Like he's made out of like a rubber ball material or something. It's very strange. He's very light. He's pretty cute. Not gonna lie. Might put him on my shelf. He's not one of my favorite Pokemon, but he is kind of adorable. I feel a few more plushies. They're just endless. Oh, a Lucario. Cute little keychain, Lucario plushie. I find it hard to find uses for these keychain plushies. So might ask my friends um, if there's any that I got that they're like a huge fan of and they want them. All right, oh, one more plushie. <laughs> oh, it's a little baby Grookey. It's another one of the dolls collection. A little sad, it's not uh, one of my more liked Pokemon. Grookey is cute, but not a huge fan, but that is adorable, uh, I must say. Honestly, every single Pokemon in the dolls collection is cute. If you've never seen it before, maybe go onto the Pokemon Center website and see if you can find the line of plushies, but the dolls collection is one of my favorite for sure. Okay, I think that's all the plushies. Let's see, we've got three more items. What is this? It's like an acrylic pop-up stand thing. It says Kabigon no Akubi up in the corner here. That means Snorlax is gone. I don't know if this was like a set. I have a feeling that this is probably one of many pieces in a set or something because there's like a little dresser um, and a little tree there. And I feel like it would look good in the background of possibly other Pokemon and stuff. So I'm gonna look this up actually. I'm gonna Google this, Kapigon no Akubi. Ah, okay, so it was a series of merchandise based around Snorlax. Oh, that's so fun. Okay, so do you guys see how it kind of looks like a puzzle piece, the piece in the middle there? So if you collect the whole set, you can make a full puzzle like this and they all fit together nicely. That's really cute. Oh no, they've given me like, one piece and now I want the rest of them. <laughs> that's cool, I've never seen this set before so I'm glad that they included this so that I know it exists because that's really cute. And the last two items, we have some washi tape. It says Pokemon Galar Tabi, which means like Galar Adventure, Galar Trip, 
So it looks like it's just Pokemon wandering around. Really big one and a thinner tape at the top. I'm always in the market for washi tape. I use it to seal my letters and decorate postcards and stuff. So happy to receive that. And it looks like we have one more item left. The final item in my box is this. It looks like it's an embroidered sticker patch and it has one of my favorite Pokemon on it and a Flareon. So this is Glammeow. She's freaking adorable and yeah, a Flareon. This couldn't get much cuter, honestly. So that is really cool. Heck yeah, I would say that this box was definitely a thumbs up. The Pokemon boxes are so random. Everybody gets such different items that you really don't know what you're gonna get. But my box certainly included lots of the Pokemon that I love and lots of cool items like the bath mat. I am so thrilled for that. I would say that the Snorlax um, Pokemon Dolls series plushie and the Psyduck bath mat are probably my favorite items out of the box. How about you guys? What did you like the most? And the little Pikachu blanket, of course. I'm very lucky that I got the one I wanted. But that is it for the Pokemon Center Pika Pika box this year. I hope you guys enjoyed watching that and I will see you again very soon for more Lucky Bag videos. Bye for now, guys. Pikachu!